For many living in Holly Springs, Mississippi. It's kind of rough. It's really is. It's kind of rough. The last six days has tested their patience after the ice storm knocked out their power. We be without power all the time. Maybe two hours, three hours, maybe a day. But this has been the longest that I've seen since 1994. At the height of the storm, state officials say 48,000 residents' utilities were impacted across Mississippi, with majority of them in Marshall County where Holly Springs is located. But I did not make the ice come. I did not bring the snow. I did not make the ground wet. I'm not that powerful. Given the widespread outages, the Mississippi Emergency Management Agency was contacted last Thursday and has now begun deploying resources across the region. This is a district issue and I'm not satisfied and I'm not leaving. You won't see the taillights of my vehicle until the district is done. Heading into the storm, Holly Springs Mayor Sharon Gibson says she was confident in their plan but now realizes the need for improvements after most of its 12,000 customers were affected. This is so much larger than us. So many people are affected by this. We just have to be prepared and we're learning to be more. But you can't be over prepared. I was a Girl Scout. We have to have everything we need. With thousands of people still without power as of Sunday, the demand for food has increased, prompting a local church to act and give out free meals. We just wanted to come out and be our part, do our part and be the hands and feet of Christ and um, show um, love to the neighborhood. A neighborhood and city that all can agree has seen better days. You just got to be in a patient mood, but who patient run out. Reporting in Holly Springs, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3.